Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I want to make a response to a thread from uh, Matthew Smith. And I'm sorry it took me a while to get started, Matt, but uh, a lot of things are going on and I'm trying to catch up uh, with some of the threads, contests, whatnot that I've been wanting to make. Uh, when I first heard about this subject, which was uh, picked 10 perfect songs, I don't know why it struck me as kind of hard because I thought to myself that, I mean, what, is, what do, does perfect song mean really? Uh, does it just mean a song that you like a lot? Because of course, uh, if it's a matter of what songs do you like, I mean, there's thousands of them. But uh, try to take a little time to think of songs that are perfect in the sense of everything about it works and uh, when it's over, you really left thinking, wow, you know, th that wasn't just a good song, but it really left you with a kind of impression. And uh, that's how I came up with these choices. Now, uh, most of the ones I picked here are from the 1960s um, and a few from the 1970s. I also want to give a shout out to Adam Lee. Adam, if you're watching this, uh, I've been watching some responses to to your idea where you had a question of what are your 20 favorite songs from the 80s so I'm going to do that too just give me some time on that one uh, I'm gonna really get that together I'm probably gonna do it uh, in the next week or, week or so I know there's no deadline on it so I'm gonna answer that too and because I knew I was gonna be answering that one I purposely left 80 songs out of this one okay so anyway I'm not going to play any music either. I mean, I, there's sometimes where I do play a little music lightly in the background, uh, you know, cue up some songs, but uh, I hope you know the songs I'm mentioning here. They're all pretty popular, I think. Um, so, okay, these, these are in no particular order, by the way. First one that uh, I pick as a perfect song would be Bobby Gentry's Ode to Billy Joe. This song is a haunting song it's great because it's so mysterious and you ha you're left to wonder what exactly is going on in here and what was the reason that uh, Billy Joe decided to take his life uh, just a very very nice song and always leaves me feeling a little, a little chill down my spine and that's what it's supposed to do so I really like this song, it's one of my all time favorite songs, Ode to Billy Joe um, sort of in that vein in a way Simon and Garfunkel has so many songs that I really love by them, but uh, the one that I pick that I think really is perfect uh, Well, there's, there's there's a lot of perfect ones. I could name uh, Sounds of Silence. I could name Mrs. Robinson on and on and on but uh, The one that I single out is Scarborough Fair Canticle uh, which is also a, a slow and in a way haunting kind of song I guess there's something about those kind of emotional tunes that leave you feeling like it really touches your soul and that's that's what this song does to me so Scarborough Fair is another choice by the way I forgot to mention at the top that I couldn't pick just 10 songs I think I have 11 here that I chose for this video so I'm cheating and I'm going over okay Crimson and Clover uh, Tommy James and the Shondells uh, another great song and there are a couple of versions of this you have the I guess it's the radio edit where it has a, a shorter middle it's kind of cut out and this album version here has the longer midsection both of them are, are perfect <laughs> it doesn't matter which one you listen to but uh, I probably kind of prefer the longer version which is the main reason I bought this album it's, I have the single as well but I like the long version so okay now the Rolling Stones. Now I'm um, Rolling Stones. I mean, again, how many perfect songs do they have? Plenty. Can't think. Can't think of just one to to single out. But a lot of it has to do too. I think with what comes to mind. You know, what's the first thing that comes to your head? And for me, Ruby Tuesday. Well, I don't think that's really that popular with a lot of diehard Stones fans. But for some reason, that's another song. I notice these songs. A lot of these have the same kind of. Uh, slow kind of emotional heavy feeling to them a lot of them you know but uh, those are the ones that seem to be striking me here and I, I'm noticing that the more I think of the songs yet to come in my list here that that theme runs 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 true for almost all of them so Ruby Tuesday is the Rolling Stones song that I picked 
Okay, I had to pick a Bob Dylan song now. You know, come on. I mean, you're talking about, you know, 50 years or more for Dylan. What the heck do you pick for one song? So, this is one of my top Dylan albums, Freewheeling, Freewheeling Bob Dylan. And there's a lot of songs you can pick for this. Um, I'm going to cheat by just naming a few. Uh, Blowing in the Wind. Um, also, Masters of War could have been. But I decided to go with the song, A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. I just think that really says it all. It really uh, hits home. Very powerful lyrics in it. And leaves you with a real, uh, you know, emotional feel. I think the same thing is true of Masters of War. That kind of has a real shock ending to it. Which really fits and makes you feel like, wow, you heard something really special. So I could pick a lot of songs from this album. But I'm going with Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. I wanted to get a Beach Boys song in there. Um, my favorite Beach Boys song, Bar None. Um, this is the Hits album. Don't Worry Baby. You know, my, my favorite Beach Boys song. I always get a good feeling. I love the way it's sung. And uh, harmonies in it. It, it, it just it just it just really really interests me and excites me when I listen to it. I, I just I always like it. I, I get excited every time I hear that song. Just just a really good song. I wish I could find more to say, but it, it, these things are all basically that simple, right? Okay, I picked the Beatles song. Now again, I love the Beatles. Now how am I going to pick one song? Well, first thing that popped to mind is Perfect, and you know it's funny. You, you would think there are a lot of Perfect Beatles songs. I suppose there are. But uh, this one hit me, the first one that hit me is a perfect song, closing track on the album, A Day in the Life. Um, it starts off, you know, again, it's got that mysterious, haunting vocal from John from Another World, and then it has the great segue in the middle where uh, Paul bounces things up a little bit, and then we return to John at the end, followed by that closing chord that lasts forever and ends the album uh, on a perfect note. And stays with you. A day in the life. So that's my Beatles pick. Okay, I got a few more here. Um, and again, I was going through my record collection. I found so many that I could pick, but these were the first ones. Some of them came to mind before I went to the record collection. I, I deliberately chose those titles. And other ones just kind of hit me as I was thumbing through them. I saw the record. Uh, I almost, how I could forget this, I don't know. I mean, I could hear this. This is one of those songs that's a classic, and I could hear it every day, and I could hear it go on for 20, 30 minutes. And that's Layla. Derek and the Dominoes, Eric Clapton. Uh, song Layla. I, I can't get enough of it. I, I really wish it was longer. You know, the, the guitars in there, just amazing. <laughs> just an amazing song. Okay, uh, wanted to pick a uh, Led Zeppelin song. There's a lot of them, again, that I could find that is perfect, but is it any surprise which one I go? This is my favorite Zeppelin album, fourth album, and Stairway to Heaven. I mean, that's not very original, I know, but uh, are, are, there, are there really many more songs as perfect as Stairway to Heaven? I mean, that, that's just bliss all the way through. And then I, I started thinking about Fleetwood Mac with Stevie Nicks, Lindsey Buckingham, and uh, there's a toss-up between a few songs, but I went for, for Landslide, the, the version of Landslide, the first one, I guess it's the first one, right, from this album, Fleetwood Mac, self-titled. Uh, Landslide is a beautiful song, really makes you feel special. Again, it's another one that's bittersweet, you know? A lot of bittersweet songs here. That's what I'm in the mood for. Well, that's for, I think that was 10, but I had this other one pulled out, and it was a little different. It was a little unusual, not one you, you would expect to be heard. So I picked this one along with it to make it 11. And that's uh, the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. They had a hit, Jackie Blue. And uh, I, I love that song. Great radio song. And uh love the way it's sung for the longest time. I thought it was, when I was a kid, I thought it was sung by a female. I didn't realize it was a male until I got older. But uh, I love that song. What can I say? It's a great song from the 70s and the hit parade. Uh, and again, it's kind of like one of those, using the same adjectives, folks, haunting, uh, melodic songs that stay with you emotionally. 
Anyway, Matt, I'm sorry it took so long to get this uh, response done. I, I was trying to think of what could be perfect songs. And I think I'm satisfied with the result. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'm going to do Adam uh, Adam's 80s, as I said, in uh, uh, several days from now.